Hi everyone, I'm Jason Jertic and this is the Moal Philosopher. Just wanted to give a quick video on the new version of Chrome OS 53. I am on a Chromebook Pixel 2, which allows me to actually uh, access the Google apps on Android. So if we go here, you can see that the there's a new start button here. It's circular instead of square as it was before. If I click on this, it's going to allow me to see this here, which is the Play Store beta. Now I've already installed a couple things. You can see we have Excel here. So if I click on this, it's going to open up the Android version of Excel. I can click on this and open up a spreadsheet just like it would be on the Android version, for example. I'm closing that up and go back here. If I click on the Play Store, it's going to offer me typical things that I would see on Android. If I click on the three bars up here above, it's going to give me something very similar to my Nexus device, for example. I can see my apps and games, the things that I've recently updated, the ones that are up to date. If I go to all, for example, I'm going to see the apps that are on my Nexus phone. Some of these things cannot be installed yet. If I go to Google Duo, I'm going to see that it will not offer me the possibility of installing this. But if I go out and, for example, I go back into the area here and I click on, for example, Spotify and click enter there, it's going to search the Android App Store for Spotify. And it's going to come out, and I can click on this guy, and it will allow me to install uh, Spotify. So if I click on this, for example, it's going to say downloading, and depending on how fast your internet connection is, it will download that amount so you can install the app. So, for example, here we're downloading the Spotify app. It says installing. So as you can see, it's very, very simple. There's no, there's nothing special about it. And then it pops out here. I click on that, and then it will open up the, as you can see, it's suffering a little bit. It doesn't like it very much, so we're going to click on login. It's uh, vibrating its head off here, but um, you can add your stuff here. I'm not going to do it right now, but you can see that some things are still suffering a little bit in regards to this. We have to play around with it to see exactly what you can and cannot do. For example, trying to resize this guy doesn't seem to be working very well. It doesn't come out to a possibility of doing so. So it's still, it's in beta, so it's, it's going to take some time for these things to get all worked out. But at least you know that some things will and will not open up. If this works, I'll show it in our video, but you get the idea. If we go back here and we go uh, drop this down, you can see you'll stay there in the bar down here. If you go back here, you're going to see that there's two versions here. This is very important. This is the Chrome version, and this is the Android version. Funny enough, you would think that because Android is in the second place, it would mark the Android ones. It doesn't. It marks the Chrome versions and leaves the Android versions as if they were official, which is very curious. Either way, just keep in mind that this is the one that is for Chrome, and these are the Android versions here. If I go into all apps, you can see that I have a whole bunch of stuff here, but it's not marking everything as if it was Chrome or Android. So... It depends a lot on what you've installed, and then it'll start comparing. So, for example, anything else that could be Android, until I download those versions, it's not going to mention that they are Chrome and Android. So it appears that it only distinguishes them once you download the other type. So just keep that in mind. Outside of that, everything else seems to be working pretty much the same. You don't see anything else, anything else special about it. Just close that up. And like I said, afterwards, you just enter into these apps as if they were normal apps in the case. And play games, for example, if you open it up, it's going to open up what you have on Android. There's nothing else here in this case. Um, then we're not going to do that right now. But as you can see, everything else is uh, pretty much the same in this case. So if you have any questions, just please to put them down in the comments below. I can try a couple of things if you guys have interest in me trying to figure out what things work and what things don't. Um, so please let me know, and we'll continue on to exploring what else is being offered here with this hybrid version that Google is now offering us. Thank you very much. Take care.